Welcome to another video with me, David Ambrose. It is a gorgeous Tuesday, and by that I mean a rainy, dreary day here at MD. But that's all good, not gonna dampen my spirits. I hope all of you out there are having a good one though. And today's video is gonna be kind of a fun mix of a couple of different things. So, gonna be kind of a vlog video and then also a supplement review. So, I'm gonna go over all the supplements that I currently take and would recommend for people who are working out. Um, because the results can be very beneficial and they're just they're good supplements that I think everybody should be taking. Well, you know, I, let me rephrase that. I'm gonna go over all the supplements that I currently am taking and I'm gonna give you guys all the reasons why I'm taking them to help you better understand maybe some of the things that you can implement into your supplement stack. So, after that, who knows? Who the hell knows? But yeah, it's gonna be a good day. A little shameless plug here, if you guys can, smash that like button for me, subscribe down below, hit the bell, it does help the video with the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate that, and it only takes a few seconds out of your day, so, if you could do that, it would mean a lot to me, but anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the video, Woo <laughs> doggy, <laughs> guys, this channel is about being honest and open, and I've been eating a lot of protein, not gonna lie. Protein farts are absolutely horrendous. <laughs> I, literally, I literally farted, one into sprouts, was in there for like 15 minutes. I come out to my car and open it up, it's like a gas chamber in here. Oh, crack these damn windows, get some airflow going. Whew. That is, that's, that's a protein fart. <laughs> anyway, uh, picked up kombucha. You guys know me, I like my kombucha. I try to get it uh, maybe once every two weeks or so. Um, these are not good to drink every day. Just for those out there who don't know that, you should not be drinking these every day. They, uh, they help with gut bacteria and all that stuff. You know, good stuff like that. But you do not want to be consuming these every day. So, I so again, I'll get it once every two weeks or so. Um, this flavor is guava goddess, so gonna try this one thing I'll say be careful opening these uh, they are carbonated so if you shake them because there's stuff on the bottom if you shake it at all it will explode in your car and I know that from experience it's happened to me before all right guys given this guava goddess flavor the taste test review oh I like that it's good it's very good if you didn't know kombucha tea is a little bit uh it's almost sour it's an acquired taste, so you may or may not like it the first time you try it. I kind of drank it the first time, was not expecting it. I was like, oh, it's going to taste like Gold Peaks iced tea. It's going to be sweet and delicious. It's a different flavor profile, so it's kind of an acquired taste. Give it some time. The more I drank it, the more I liked it, so pretty delicious. Anyway, yeah, going to go in, change up, gym up, biceps and triceps, That's oh, and abs. So RIP to my core, because I'm going to demolish it. Also, just wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers out there. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for joining part of the Ambrose family. Growing daily. I love to see it. And if any of you didn't actually know, I am an online trainer, nutritionist, and life coach. So if any of you need help or guidance, that's what I'm here for. My passion is helping people, helping you to achieve your dreams and goals in life. Sometimes all we need to do is ask for help. And then we can align ourselves with our purpose on this earth and start achieving true happiness and our true purpose on this earth. So if any of you feel like you need some help and guidance or just feel like you're too busy maybe, you don't have enough time to write a workout plan, a nutrition plan, and to uh, plan your life goals, you're just so busy with everything else, you need a little help. That's what I'm here for. So feel free to message me on Instagram. I'll put the link or my Instagram in the description below and I would be happy to talk to you and see how I can help you. So. Just wanted to let you all know that. Have a great day. Let's go. All right, guys. T-shirt changed. Beanie on. I don't know why, but recently I've been religiously wearing beanies when I work out. I just feel like it makes me look more badass, which then in turn makes my lift that much better. And obviously cannot forget my pump stuff, which is noxygen. Love this stuff. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. And you guys know how I love to have my shake in the morning, which is protein powder, oatmeal and a little bit of that salt. I've been adding cinnamon in there as well. Uh, first off, adds good flavor in there. It's delicious. You have the vanilla protein powder, oatmeal, and have a little cinnamon with that. It's delicious. And on top of that, cinnamon can help with nutrient absorption. 
So it's kind of just like the complete morning shake that I like to eat. Easy on the stomach, easy to go down, and uh, it's great for a pre-workout shake. Guys, look who it is. It's Snickers. Hi, baby. Hey, dude. It is arm day, as I've said a million times. Time to grow these puppies, these little twigs attached to my upper chest. Sipping on a rain. This is the carnival candy flavor. Um, it's sweet, not gonna lie. Not really a big guy into sweet drinks, but this is this is not too bad. I, I will say I don't think I can drink a whole can. Uh, a little too sweet for me, but it is tasty. I enjoy drinking about half a can, especially on arm day. As I've said before, caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. So if you're trying to chase that pump, get a sick pump, don't drink as much caffeine. Um, try to stay away from too much. Um, and also just take your pump products, that way you get a gnarly pump. But, sipping on that, enjoying it. All right guys, pre-workout ritual. Gonna take two of these Knox pills. By the way, not sponsored by them, but if you guys want to and never see my videos, which you probably won't because I don't get that many views, uh, two of these. If you're starting off, maybe try one, see how you feel. If your pump is sick, stick with one for a while. I've taken these for a little bit, so kind of build up. I don't know about a tolerance, but I'm also a bigger dude now, so I take two of these down. Just like that. Put those down, take about 15 minutes or so to activate. So I take them about 10 to 15 minutes before my workout. And then as I'm warming up, it's kind of within that 10 to 15 minute zone. And then by the time I'm warmed up, this is kicking in, pump is gnarly. It only lasts for about maybe 45, 40 minutes. And that's also because I'm not training with a ton of carbohydrates in me right now. All right, everybody, the long awaited video what supplements do I take in a given day and why do I take them? And starting off with one of the most basic ones is a whey protein from Optimum Nutrition. Um, I take away protein for a few different reasons. One, uh, the most common one is it's rather difficult to eat completely clean, healthy food um, and get the amount of nutrients I need. So I eat a lot of protein every single day and to be able to eat that much chicken or steak or turkey it's just a lot to take down, a lot to digest. A protein powder is easier to put in a shake and just guzzle down the hatch real quick if you need to get some, you know, a quick 25 or 50 grams of protein. Um, and that's why I take a protein shake if you can get all of your nutrients from normal, clean sources of food. I always recommend that. That's always the best way to do it. But if you're like most people and you find that a little bit difficult, then a whey protein can be a big game changer and help you to make sure that you're getting all of your protein in for a given day. Um, whey protein's great. It's a complete protein containing all the essential amino acids in there, so it can help rebuild and uh, repair the muscle and help you recover faster. So that's the first supplement that I love taking. And if I was to recommend like one supplement for the beginner who's like working out for the first few times, be a protein shake or some kind. The other supplement I take, the Animal Pack, the Flex ones. Uh, I take this for my joints. Um, I did a lot of research into uh, you know what bodybuilders and what people who lift take to help with their joints because I started having a little bit of elbow pain a few years back um, from an injury when I was snowboarding and so I started to take these and I don't know if it's placebo or what but it did really help my elbow. They have um, it's just one little pack you take right here so it's one little complete pack. You've got flaxseed oil, glucosamine, turmeric, so this helps repair your connective tissue, lubricate your joints, and helps with the rehabilitation process. Um, overall, fantastic supplement. Really recommend taking this before you have problems. Um, again, do your research on what works best and what you think you want to do. Um, but this has really helped me a lot, so I really recommend something like this. Start taking something like this before you start having problems. I mean, if you're a serious lifter, don't wait till you have an injury, you know? Take something that can help ensure that you don't get injured. The next thing that I take that I absolutely love is going to be Noxygen. So this stuff is basically a vasodilator. It's a pump product. Um, what that does is when you're working out, you obviously have an increased blood flow to the muscle area or muscle group that you're working out. 
So what this is doing is basically delivering more oxygen and nutrients to your muscle. So that's gonna help you to repair the muscle faster because it's getting that necessary nutrients it needs to repair. It's also going to increase oxygen flow to that muscle to help with your endurance. And not to mention you get a sick pump. That's honestly one of the biggest reasons I take this is like we all chase that pump in the gym. It feels amazing. Um, you know, as Arnold said, you know, it's the pump. It feels like I'm coming with a woman. So, terrible impersonation, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so, uh, I absolutely love taking this. The next supplement I take, or I do take sometimes, is creatine hydrochloride. The reason why I take creatine hydrochloride and not monohydrate is that hydrochloride is found to be 40 times more soluble in water. Uh, this means that it dissolves quicker in water, it dissolves easier in water than monohydrate. If you've ever noticed when you're stirring the monohydrate, you can still see it on the bottom. This stuff you stir, let it sit for a while, stir a little bit more, completely disappears in the water. There was also a study done that found hydrochloride um, is absorbed 60% better than monohydrate. So for me personally, that's why I take hydrochloride. And the reason why I take creatine is because it increases the ability of your body to store ATP, which is converted into energy during your workout. So basically that means you have more energy, more strength, uh, you look a little bit bigger, you feel a little bit bigger, um, some of the great benefits of the creatine. So for a lot of beginners, they'll take this. Again, do your research on it. Make sure you understand what some of these side effects can be. For the multivitamin, um, animal pack. Again, this is the multivitamin pack. There are a ton of vitamins in here, they are massive. I actually haven't been taking this for a while. Um, Multivitamins are something that you don't have to take. One thing I found is that if you're eating a balanced, healthy diet, you're going to be getting almost all the nutrients you need from your diet, your nutrition. So I found that I really don't need a multivitamin right now. Um, and a lot of the times, the daily value they give you is so high that you're going to be peeing most of this out. You're going to be excreting it out in your urine. So for me, I was, I was kind of hesitant to be taking this. So I'm going to do a little more research, but multivitamins can be beneficial if your diet might be lacking. But why not try to clean up your diet and eat natural whole foods that are going to be absorbed a little bit better and uh, are just more natural. So that's my take on multivitamins. You know, I have taken them before, but I kind of stopped for a while. Might hop back on. Not really sure yet. The last supplement I take is biotin. So this is for your hair, skin, nails, um, overall skin health, nail health, blah, blah, blah. Um, I like to take care of myself, so I've been trying this, you know, trying to get that luscious hair, grow it out for Hawaii. So taking this, um, and I'm not sure if it works, to be honest. I mean, I feel like my hair's been growing a lot faster. Uh, I feel like my nails have been too, so. You know, so I hope all of you enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to make it for a long, long time, and I'm very happy I was finally able to. A lot of you have been asking me about what supplements I take because supplements have aided me a lot in progressing my physique over the years as I've worked out. You know, they're, they're honestly so helpful in so many areas, but just remember that nutrition and your training and your rest and your water intake is all going to be the big factors in helping you to achieve your dream physique, your dream body, and uh, whether it's cutting weight, gaining weight, you know, putting on muscle, whatever it may be, your diet, nutrition, and training is all going to be the big factors. These supplements are things that can help push you a little bit further than you may have been able to do, you know, quote unquote, naturally. So remember not to rely solely on these supplements. They are there to aid you, but they're not there to replace all your food and nutrients. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you all did, please smash that like button, subscribe down below if you're not a subscriber, and hit that bell. I appreciate it. And hope you all have a great day. Remember, just take one day at a time. You don't always have to, you know, make the biggest leap in one day. It's the little steps each and every day that we take that can lead us towards our goals and our dreams. So I hope you all have a great day. Take it easy. Enjoy life. Peace.